Right now, a new change to the dangerous dog law in Florida stops local governments from banning specific breeds like German Shepherds or Pit Bulls. Banning dogs because of their size or weight is also out of the picture starting October 1st. These big dogs, these bully breeds are great animals. They're very good family dogs. They're very devoted to their family. They're just big and scary looking to some people. Jan Steele with Palm Beach County Animal Care and Control says this is a small step forward. But it is going to be very limited because it's primarily public housing and the municipalities themselves. Which means private landlords and homeowners associations can still ban certain dogs according to Steele. She says this could leave some uncertainty. If you allow pets at all, you should be able to allow all of them. If you've ever had a pity mix or you've had a German Shepherd or a Great Dane, you know they're wonderful family dogs. Once they bond with their family, they'll be with you for life. Before this, a county could restrict people from having a dog over a certain weight or size if there were any safety concerns. But that's no longer. At least a dozen other states have gotten rid of their breed-specific legislation. That's according to StopBSL.org, a watchdog website on this topic. But a lot of states are removing restrictions for breeds because we find out that a dog is a dog. It doesn't matter what breed it is. If they're treated well, they'll be amazing family dogs. If they're not treated well, then they'll have some trouble. So if we take away the, the bias against these bully breeds and large breeds and just look at them as a dog, they're great, but what makes them dangerous is people mistreating them. It is not the dogs themselves. Steele also says this could help alleviate some of the overcrowding at shelters if people are open to adopting bigger dogs and they live in an area where the old ban is now lifted. In West Palm Beach, Victor Jorges, WPTV News Channel 5.